the burger. All right, as we talk a little bit about the burger, talk about reuniting Americans with what might be arguably the most American food, right? The hamburger. So we got together within Carnival with this great team that I was talking about, and we started thinking, let's, let's do burger. That's really what our guests want. So we started thinking Burger Shack, looked at it a little bit, said, you know, it's the right thing. It's definitely the right food concept, and it's fun, right? It's fun, but it's not fun enough. So how do we really, really lean into this, right? So talking about some of these great partnerships that Jerry just alluded to, I want to introduce you to the very first one. Talk about America's Chef and now Carnival's King of Guys Burger Joint. Come on out, Guy Fieri. Wow, that was like a fighting show. Nice job, Mr. Enthusiasm. Um, if in a million years you would have told me that I was going to be involved with a cruise line and I would be doing burgers, I would have told you I'd gone to the moon first. But, and, and I only do things that I really believe in and get into. And I know this is probably sounds too cliche, like everybody gets up and says, I don't really appreciate the friendship and the bonding unity. But I gotta tell you, first thing I said is let's go on one of the ships. So I took my mom, my dad, my aunt, we flew people in, did the whole thing. I'd never been on a cruise ship. I went top to bottom. We toured that cruise ship from every kitchen, from the butcher shop to the dish station to the crew lounge to, to you name it. I was on the top of the ship and the bottom of the ship. Because I really had to make sure. I mean, I'm a chef. I own my own restaurants. I have six restaurants in Cali. I have my shows. I have my things going on. I didn't really need not necessarily another pet project. But we met some folks and talked about this, and it sounded interesting. They said, well... Let's see the ship. So we went and saw the ship, and it was fantastic. And the people were fantastic. Okay, that was a qualifier. I said, well, now let me show you what I want to do. And I brought the meat with me. I brought all my goodies, my toys. And I made burgers. I said, this is the kind of burger I want to do. And they said, great, we'll, we'll do that kind of burger. And as we went through the steps of this courting, of this, of this relationship, couldn't find a reason why we shouldn't do it. And now, knowing the team that I work with and the people that we're involved with and seeing how we do things, because they all move this date for me. <laughs> but just seeing how it is. I mean, I'm into people that want to blow people's minds. As a chef and as a restaurant owner, that's what we want to do. We want to make people happy. We want people to just like, I can't wait to come back. It's creating and keeping the guests. Create them as a guest on the ship. That's, that's a line we use in my restaurants. But you create them as a guest, and then you keep them coming back. And that's how you build your business. And that's what these folks are into. That's the attitude. The burger that we're making is legit. I'm going to feed y'all. You guys are going to walk up. We have stretch pants and moo moos and flip flops. So we have a little too much. Don't worry. And we'll hose you down when you're on your way out. But the burger that we're making, the first thing we had to start with was the meat. So I brought my meat guys in and I said, uh, evaluate the meat program on the ship. And I'm going to take way more than my three minutes. Take all the time you want. We'll bring meat. George up here in just a second. Um, but I said, I, it's got to be this particular kind of meat. And so we looked at the meat, and, and they said, well, let us send you yours. So I had first the meat sent to me that they're using on the ship, an 80-20 grind, a cargo 80-20 grind. For, that's the manufacturer, the uh, producer, the beef producer. And they sent it to my meat guys down in L.A. My meat guys did an analysis on the meat. They said, we like it. Good meat. So then they sent it to my house. And then we did a test. And I put it through rigorous training at my house and put it in front of the most particular palates of burgers. My son's Hunter and Ryder. Because they're in and out junkies. So we did this. We tasted the burger meat, and it was fantastic. I mean, they really did a great job with it. We had them send us more. We did more testing with it, working on the recipes, developing it, and looking at the type of equipment that they were going to have available for us. But then I came to find out that they'll give me whatever equipment I want to make the burger. But it's a straightforward, real deal, quality burger. I mean, that's what it has to be. Cook the right way. Start with great ingredients. Cook it the right way. Put the enthusiasm in it. Have a lot of flavor. Present it in the right fashion. And we're going to wow people. And you're going to get it for free. That's the ridiculous part. I said, throw a buck on it. You know? <laughs> just, just put some on it. But we sat down. We worked on the logo together. We worked on the taglines together. We worked on the, the presentation from the team. The ingredients we're going to use. Everything down to the type of pickle. So, I am full boat, no pun intended. I'm all in. It is going to be, and you'll see the burger that we're going to try. We're going to cook it up. We cook it on a flat top, hit it with two different types of cheese, real nice juicy tomatoes. Starting to drool a little bit. 
only got one bite of the one I made out there. That was awesome. People come around like a flock of seagulls. But you'll see, you'll get a chance to build a nice little crust on it. We dome it. Real key piece to this is doming the burger and injecting it with a little bit of water to create the steam to melt the cheese. But just so many factors about how a really dynamite burger is made. And you guys are all going to get a chance. But I, I, I think it's been a, it has been definitely a, a co-op to build this opportunity for the, for the Guy Fieri brand and Guy's Burger Joint. And with the team on Carnival, I, I look forward to going back for more cruises. My kids, my wife, my all my family and friends. In fact, we're going to have my summit meeting for my for my company on the ship. So we're, we're in it to win it in a minute. That's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, any questions? No? Great. Thanks. T-Bone, Mark Davis. Thanks, Dana. Thanks, dude. Wow, that was sweet. <laughs> All right, so just give you a little bit more flavor we've got here, Guy's Burger Joint. So this is a quick look. So what it is, it's really, I mean, I'm not talking food because I know nothing about what he's talking about, but I'll tell you a little bit about the look. And we worked on this together. This was really hands-on with Guy and his team. It's the idea of driving down an iconic seaside highway seaside highway right along the shore and it's this mix of this road culture this garage culture which is so guy as well as the cruising experience which is obviously all about the sea so it's this garage meets surf kind of feel great burgers great food coming to a ship near you all right so now let's talk about the bars lounges and bars and everyone loves